Oh, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thank you. Uh, as, I, as I just said off air, you are the last two that we haven't spoke to. We spoke to everybody else bar Taylor and, and Kevin Costner, but then, hey, he's Kevin Costner, so he can, <laughs> he can talk to who he wants to, I guess. Uh, huge congratulations on the show. Um, a question to both of you, but maybe Kelsey, if I direct it at you first. Um, how delighted have you been, not just with the show's success, but the fact that you're, you, you keep, you've been able to go back for three seasons and these characters and this story just, just develops into this amazing thing. And you've had so many good responses. You must all both be delighted with, with how it's gone so far. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. I mean, especially, oh my goodness, after this quarantine, I can't wait to go back. It makes you so appreciative of, of your job and also of, of the audience. I'm so glad that they, I mean, I know we have a hell of a time shooting the show, but to know that that people enjoy it is is very rewarding. I mean, you know, it's it's always a nice feeling to know that it, it, when you're passionate about something and you work hard on something and you and you really are, you know, we're a fan of it as well. I know, you know, I don't want to speak for Kelsey, but uh, <laughs> I'm a I know she loves it too. Uh, <laughs> you know, to, to have that sort of validation of other people really enjoying it is is amazing, and so it's all you can ask for. You know, it's it's what we do. We tell stories and we hope people enjoy them. Yeah, I mean, it's a really unique show and it, it, it tells so many amazing stories. And over the years, you've been able to kind of, you know, weave together as, a, as an ensemble and have different stories and different strands and everything else. But back at the beginning, when you were kind of pitched this by Taylor, what was it about, not just the story, but your characters and how they kind of developed over the first season that kind of made you think, yeah, I, I need to get involved with this. Maybe I'll start with Luke uh, for this question. Um, well, yes, yeah, so from the moment I read the, the first script, I was, I was all in, I was hooked. And, uh, you know, even if I were you know, whatever reason, wasn't able to work on the show. And I was gonna watch the show because I just thought it was amazing. And then to be able to play Casey and Monica, I mean, it's a dream come true. It's very, there's something very Shakespearean about, you know, these characters very like, you know, star-crossed lovers kind of thing. And, um, and you know, it's it's just, it's that old school love story that you, you always want to be a part of. Yeah, and, and, and also uh, just, I had worked with, with Taylor on Wind River and I think just the opportunity to, work with him again and continue that collaboration. I, I, I trust him and I love his stories and, um, and yeah, and, and, and at this point, Casey and Monica, yeah, it's just, um, they're in game for me. I'm, I'm a huge fan of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I will say how big a fan I am of Wind River as well. I told Gil that as well recently. So oh, great. <laughs> such a huge, such a great I film. Um, again too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I spoke to all of you. It's it's been pretty pretty cool. It's nice to get the whole the whole the whole yeah. ensemble. That's always good. Um, but what I mean for you guys, what is it about? Obviously, Kelsey. Maybe I'll I'll direct this to you first about about Taylor. I mean, he's he's able to weave these really interesting, really intricate, really important stories, but also mix it with, you know, the the kind of I guess semi exciting stuff, as it were. But what what is it about him that makes him so so special and makes so many people kind of desperate to work with him? I think it's I, I don't know. I think it's how he um how he communicates these relationships, how um, there's also a subtlety to his work that is, it's, it just creates these, these, these lived in moments or, or moments of life, I guess, um, that, uh, I, I mean, cause they're, and they're really rooted in, in, in these themes that are, are, are so important, like family and, and, uh, um, I'm sorry, I've got a I've got a Call of Duty player in the background right now. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear. I'm very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, I've got a cat, a cat walking around, so it's fun. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, but yeah, I think I, I I he's 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 just incredibly talented, and um, I'm very very lucky to work. With. I think we've all got people walking around. Luke's got a, a friend. Walking around and see the reflection. Kelsey knows who it is too. He's, he's, he's one of our mutual friends. He's over here trying to harass me while we're doing it. <laughs> hey, it's really they saw you in the, the window. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Little cameo appearance. Uh, tonight, where you are, Luke, is amazing. Look, I'm looking at all the. It's like very, very in keeping with the show. Um, uh, for, uh, yeah, for Luke, I mean, for you, I mean, what, what, what makes Taylor so special for you, and what, what kind of, what was the main thing that kind of made you want to work with him? What was it about him that kind of made you think, yeah, this is, this is a guy to, to follow into this world? I think, you know, every once in a while, there's somebody who comes along who just has their own voice, you know? And, it, and Taylor is one of those writers where you can't put your finger on it, but it's something very special. 
and and he has his finger on something on the pulse of something and it's something that i'm really into and i know every time i get one of the scripts i'm just it's like you know getting a candy store i'm just super excited to, to to see what it is and it's never what i expect and you know that's i think the beauty of his writing and the beauty of this job and why people are, are really loving yellowstone is, is just this you know very new interesting voice and especially with these sort of like western you know sort of machismo posturing kinds of things can be a little you know predictable and this one's not you know the characters are well drawn everyone is really well spoken for and um and that's what i love about it what's it like for you guys to be part of this ensemble obviously i mentioned kevin kevin costner you can't really get away from kevin costner in this amazing ensemble but then there's there's kelly riley there's cole hauser there's gil we spoke about where's bentley i mean it's an amazing ensemble and the the, the, the group of you really seem to be not just a family but you really buy into this this surround these surroundings in this this world i mean maybe luke if i start with you with this one what's it like to be with these guys because it looks like the, the, you all get on so well but you're all kind of so bought into to to the world and the characters yeah i think you know it's sort of like the 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 theme of the show is you're you're in this beautiful place and, and as perfect as everything should be there are difficulties and challenges and, and there's these things as actors we have to kind of bump ourselves up against to to make these moments feel you know legitimate and sort of lived in and so you know it's 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 a dream come true in every way that uh that an actor would want it to be it's very challenging but it's also very rewarding and it's been the best work experience of my life so far i say it a lot but it's, it really is a master class just kind of getting to sit in and 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 watch these incredible performances and um I just I constantly feel like I have so much to learn and 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 that really speaks I think to the to the cast to to Taylor and also to our crew who is just so incredible and and also just champions the show as well so you really feel it's 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 a team effort 100%. It must be uh, nice going to work every day in the surroundings that you go to in Montana because it's just I mean when you watch it on the screen you know we we don't have I mean we do have some things in the UK but nothing quite like Montana and everything else I mean that must be great to go to work and really be in the environment it must help your performances it must help the you know the, the production design everything else knowing that you're in in that world it must it must be such a great feeling going to work every day yeah absolutely and i was telling someone earlier it's like once once you spend you know we're up there five six months of the year then you try to go back to a place that doesn't look like that and it's just not the same you know you're like it sort of gets in your blood a little bit and you and you crave it and you, you really want to you know get back to the mountains yeah kelsey for you i mean it, it must be an extraordinary place to, I'm, to film I'm, different different to a studio <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm clearly in Brooklyn right now, so my I'm I'm aching for for Montana. Um, but yeah, and and just uh, it's it's so easy to kind of to lean into that lifestyle and um, and uh, yeah, no, it's it's a blessing. Yeah, I mentioned the ensemble, but I have to. I've said this to everybody else. I have to mention working with Kevin because he's he's such an icon and he's done so many movies he's done movies and won awards in this kind of arena before uh for you guys as actors whether you know young actors or old actors i mean he, he's he feels like he's somebody that you can learn so much from but also being just in his company must be such an amazing experience i mean did you did you find that from the beginning when you first met him that he was he seems like he's such a nice guy and very open to to how you guys are kind of doing the work and 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 acting together as characters uh, maybe kelsey i'll ask you first <laughs> yeah yeah i'll cover, as he's, cover. As he's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> um yeah honestly i i i really gotta say kevin lives up to 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 everything he is he's an incredible leader he's an incredible team player um just in how we support each other um He's a sweetie. He's in a country band. Like, it's just very cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Luke, obviously, I mean, he, he plays part of your family in this. I mean, that it must be such a great thrill to be working with him all the day. It must be so much you can learn from someone like him. Absolutely. I mean, that guy's done it all, you know. He's he's had an um, amazing career, and he's, 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 he's done it all, and he still really loves what he does, and that's really inspiring. And, uh, you know, I got some major brownie points from my mom. Uh, for introducing them. <laughs> you could trade off them for a while. <laughs> he's, he's a big fan for sure. Uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. It just feels, it's, it's, a, it's a really great benchmark in my career to, to be able to stand next to a guy like that. 
Yeah. And you know, I mean, I said this to the other guys as well, the characters uh, over the three seasons, there's been, must be, there's been so many kind of surprises and gone very unexpected ways. Is that the same for you as actors that when you get the scripts for season two or season three that you've been surprised that Taylor has kind of told you some things, maybe, maybe not others. So when you read the scripts for the first time, you're kind of like, oh, we're going, we're going there, are we? Has, 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 has that been a, that must be a good experience knowing that you're as surprised as the audience is going to be surprised when they actually see it. Yeah. I, I mean, he's a, he's a master storyteller. So I, it's a, uh... You can't really, um, <laughs> you you can't have any expectations, and it's been super fun to read the scripts and then, uh, you know, I guess and then be put in those situations. Um, so yeah, it's been a great time. <laughs> <laughs> and look for you as well. I mean, it, it, it must be particularly for your character. I mean, you must be so excited when you get to read where it's going and and what kind of transpires. And I guess there's part of you that doesn't almost want to know the same as the audience that you kind of want to. <laughs> you wish you could discover it yeah. as a new. Absolutely, man. I'm just, you know, it's so fun to be on this ride. And uh, yeah, we do get to, I mean, we get scripts one after the other. We kind of get to experience in the same way that, that the audience does. And I don't think I'm going to ever have a character that I love as much as this one. And so, you know, I'm just trying to soak up this experience as much as possible because it's, I mean, who's cooler than Casey and Monica, you know? <laughs> Hey. <laughs> good ones to play good ones to play uh just as a final question i've asked this of everybody so i can get your all your opinions but all of your characters are so kind of definitive and they're, they're so unique and have their own stories and everything else i mean do you think that these are characters that you'll be sad whenever the day may come whether it's you know cole was like cole had said to me oh if i could get to play his character for 10 years he'll be happy and then he could just retire because he's done exactly what he wanted to do uh do you think that a little bit of those characters will stay with you always, whether you do this for another year, whether you do this for another 10 years, that there's an indelible mark left for these characters, as I guess lots of characters are uh, that you play. Maybe Luke, I'll start with you. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's what I was just saying. I, I really don't think that I'm, if everyone's always asked me, you know, th throughout my career, like, okay, what would you want to play if you could play anything? And I'm doing it right now. I mean, literally, I couldn't have made it up any better myself. Like I, if I sat down and tried to come up with a, with a character that I love more than this one, I couldn't do it. You know, and it took uh, Taylor is a brilliant writer and he wrote a part that I just I'm, I'm in I'm in love with. And yeah, I, I would play Casey forever. I mean, absolutely. I think that it, it's also a credit to how Taylor, you know, writes her. She's um, there's she, it, I, she just has she's resilient and at the same time has this you know, there, there's a vulnerability to her position and, 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 but she, she keeps her chin up and I, I have a lot to learn from her. I know, but, um, but no, I'm, I'm, I, I love her. <laughs> well, it seems audiences love your characters as well. And the show seems to be going great guns. So uh, I wish you all the best with season three and season four when it's safe for you guys to, to go and do it. I know you're kind of waiting to, to go back to work. So uh, <laughs> fingers crossed that you get to do that soon. Uh, but thank you so much for your time. Absolute pleasure. And uh, take care. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Bye -bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.